Oh, hello everybody and welcome to episode 38 of the Chessfield of Dreams and today we're just going to quickly recap the end of the year as my computer is now fully fixed as you might have seen in my GTA introduction video but if you haven't please go check that out and uh, see what I can do but uh, Football Manager has been uh, filtering away from the minds of some of my uh, colleagues and friends in the FM community but it's not dead for me just yet and you're going to find out why just as uh, I put out this really rather quick episode you're gonna uh, be amazed I think because we're now up to third just four points behind Watford who of course deserve congratulations for a promotion in real life but look at Chesterfield now can you believe it 14 wins four draws seven defeats and now a positive 16 goal difference so where on earth has that come from especially in the last five games we're not the most informed team but we're getting there and you can see uh, Brotherham and Sheffield United, who we got promoted with uh, not too long ago, they're also in the play playoff positions. So that's amazing. And Sheffield United are even in the automatic promotion spot. So let's just see what happened ever since the uh, botched episode with Rotherham Revenge, which ended uh, in a loss when it should have been a win. Uh, we are beaten again by Ipswich by two goals to nil. Uh, they're far, far uh, too good for us. Uh, but then this game, it just took me by surprise. Uh, it initially crashed on me when I was winning 1-0. I was very upset and I didn't want to play any more FM. But I gave it a second chance. I fixed the, uh, or I verified the uh, game cash. And this is what we've got as a result. 6-3 at the Britannia. <laughs> Probably one of the best results I've ever seen anybody get at this uh, most infamous ground. Um, Jordan Ebay, or Ibe, I'm not sure how pronounce it. He got an own goal for our, for our benefit. But then they equalised straight away. Benicafobe gave us the lead back. Jack Price conceded an own goal. And then Luke Murphy made it 3-2. Benicafobe equalised straight away. Kane McCarthy made it 4-3 at half time. Then Adam Armstrong and off the bench uh, came Lee Griffiths to make it 6. One of the uh, all-time best games as a spectator to watch. I've had some great results that were entirely one-sided. Like the Marseille uh, comeback in the Le Mans Odyssey. But in that case, it was just a phenomenal game to watch from start to finish. And then we got instant payback on the Tractor Boys through Kenji Gore, Benicafobe, and Lee Griffiths. But then against bottom side Charlton, you'd expect a little bit of uh, rustiness with the Christmas period there. But no, out we came. And Adam Armstrong, absolutely stellar performance, getting four goals. Uh, from pillar to post there one minute to start the uh, route off and he finished it off in the 80th minute but Lee Griffiths again coming off the bench to score a free kick he's a priceless asset to this club and hopefully he's gotten too old to uh, go anywhere else but he's young enough to still give us his best years so that is pretty much how we've gotten on ever since and I should be in contention for manager of the month for getting f for four wins out of six but uh, you know, this beggar's belief how little we've had to do to become such a good club. And uh, this formation, the 4-4-2, is paying dividends. And uh, we're starting to get our injuries back. Uh, Oli Banks has nearly finished his injury spell. Yaro Mesa is almost back. That'll be huge for the club, having four amazing strikers in the best shape of their lives. Um, Regan Booty is now injured. Uh, Robson Brown still injured. But apart from that, we're generally clean and we're going to head into uh, the FA Cup against Oldham, who are managed by uh, Emil Heskey. They're currently 20th in League 1, so it should be a win. Like, I'll be hugely upset if we don't win that game. But then we've got a tricky set of ties against Wigan, Blackburn, Crystal Palace and Sheffield Wednesday to start off January. If there's any games that you'd like me to live com in this uh, sort of January-February period, I'd be more than glad to oblige since the Rotherham episode was a huge disappointment but uh, I can only do it with your help guys uh, I, I don't want too much creative control despite being uh, you know fully in charge of my videos it's all about my channel but you guys are very creative yourselves and your input will be very very important to me but uh, let's just quickly look at the um, like the stats and now uh, for the goals you can see dramatic improvements for Griffiths and Armstrong Benicafobe has now tied with Yara Mesa Jake Gray has four goals Kinsella three McCarthy two Gore two Dale Fry two and then a few guys are on one uh, most appearances uh, Jakob Brinnett in goal followed by Sean Kavanagh Lee Griffiths Matt Doherty 
and Stephen Kinsler. Quickly conclude, I got interrupted there, par pardon me. Uh, just look at these promises I have to keep. And uh, Benedict Fobe and Luke O'Neill currently happy. Jake Gray just needs a few more games and he'll be sorted. But for now, uh, that'll conclude the episode. And uh, fingers crossed we can uh, carry on the good form. And, uh, you know, have a, uh, have a good Sunday, everybody. Bye-bye.